Hello friends, what's up? Welcome in the world of Maths by Amiya. In this learning concept video, we learn few concepts and apply those concepts in the question which are in front of us. Concept number one is when we have summation of few powers which are conjugatives. Means we are working on a sigma function a r where r varies from k to some numbers. So we are working on the summation of conjugative power of a and this divided by a prime say the p is prime then remainder should be zero if total terms in this sigma is either p minus one or multiple of p minus one with one condition the condition is when a divided by p remainder should not be one mod is a remainder function what would be remainder it signifies what would be remainder when a divided by p i am again repeating myself when we are adding the conjugative powers of our terms and divided by a prime p is a prime then remainder is zero if total terms in this sigma notation is either p minus one or multiple of p minus one let's understand this with an example say 2 raised to power 1 plus 2 raised to power 2 plus 2 raised to power 3 plus 2 raised to power 4 this is nothing but a sum of four conjugative terms when this divided by 5 remainder should be zero because 5 is a prime and the total terms in this summation is 4. Either this should be 4 or multiple of 4, then remainder should be 0 with the conditions A should not give remainder 1 when divided by prime. Check it with another example. Say 5 raised to power 11 plus 5 raised to power 12 plus 5 raised to power 30 till 5 raised to power 20 divided by 11. Now, first of all, we need to check is 5 divided by 11, remainder is 1 no then we can apply this concept total terms from 11 to 20 are nothing but 10 now second concept is how do we find the total number of terms when we are writing commutative numbers the total number of terms is nothing but the last term minus first term plus one this is our second concept how do we find there are how many terms in the summation so it is nothing but the last term minus first term plus one this is derived from the ap formula so last term is 20 first term is 11 plus 1 is nothing but 10. So there are 10 terms in this series. When divided by 11, since 11 is a prime and 5 mod 11 is not 1 and the p minus 1 is nothing but 10. If total number of terms are either p minus 1 or multiple of p minus 1 here p 11. So the total number of terms is either 10 or multiple of 10 then remainder should be 0. I hope it is clear. So we learned two concepts. Our third concept is when a raised to power m divided by p where a and p are the co-prime then what we do we first divide a by p base by the divisor and m by the cyclicity of p and if p is the prime then power should be divided by p minus 1 i am again repeating a raised to power n when divided by p where the p is the prime now check p is the prime and a and p are the co-prime so first of all we divide a by p and n by p minus 1 write the remainders and remainder and work on this value now understand this with an example 10 raised to power 14 divided by 13 what would be remainder 10 divided by 13 14 divided by 12 because 13 minus 1 is 12 14 divided by 12 is nothing but 2 as a remainder 10 divided by 13 is nothing but minus 3 as a remainder because it is less than 3 so minus 3 square is nothing but 9 so remainder is 9 I hope it is clear for better understanding check another example say 17 raised to power 23 what would be remainder when it is divided by 11 first of all 17 divided by 11 and power should be divided by 10 p minus 1 remainder is 3 here remainder is 6 6 cube is nothing but 216 216 is more than 11 so we need to divide 216 again by 11 and the remainder is 7 only so we learned three concepts one is sum of conjugative powers Second one is how do we find total number of terms that is last term minus first term plus one and third one is when a raised to power m divided by a prime or any number. Now solve our first question. Our first question is 2 raised to power 16, 2 raised to power 17, 2 raised to power 18 till 2 raised to power 30 divided by 13. What would be remainder? First of all we need to check 2 mod 13 is 1 or not. No, it's not 1. So we can apply the concept of sum of conjugative powers of 2 or any numbers we need to find there how many terms in this last term minus first term plus 1 that is 30 minus 16 is 14 plus 1 is 15 there are 15 terms 
since we are dividing by 13 so we just need 12 terms for the 12 terms remainder is zero so we just need to work on either first three terms or the last three terms according to your convenience so now work on the first three terms that is first three terms are nothing but 216 plus 217 plus 218 we need to divide it by 13 and we need to find remainder 2 raised to power 16 2 raised to power 17 2 raised to power 18 now we need to work on the remainder part we need to divide base by the 13 according to the last concept and power by 12 to get answer if 2 divided by 13 remainder is nothing but 2 in all three cases and 16 divided by 12 remainder is 4 in this case 5 in this case 6 we just need to add the value that is nothing but 16 plus 32 plus 64 and total summation is 112 since 112 is more than 13 so we again divide 112 by 13 since remainder should always be less than divisor and our final remainder is nothing but 8 so this complete series all the summation divided by 13 remainder should be 8 i hope it is clear so what i did and what concepts wants from you is first of all you need to check is base divided by divisor remainder is one or not if not one and we have summation of conjugative terms then we can apply the concept second we need to find total number of terms is the last term minus first term plus one is 15 is the total number of terms we are working with 13 so we just need 12 as a total number of terms but here it's 15 so we have three extra terms either work on first three terms or the last three terms and get your answer i hope it is clear now solve another question another question is of the same type first of all we need to check 4 divided by 17 remainder is 1 or not no 4 divided by 17 remainder is not 1 so we can apply our concept we need to find the total number of terms with the last term minus first term plus 1 that is nothing but 16 since we are working with 17 and the total number of terms is 16 what we want is p minus 1 or the multiple of p minus 1 then remainder should be 0 i hope it is clear there is no need to work on the extra calculation since we have 16 bundles and we are working with 17 so remainder should be 0 i hope it is clear now solve last and final question now solve our last question first of all we need to check is 29 mod 7 or 29 divided by 7 remainder is 1 yes it is 1 so we cannot apply that concept here for this if we are getting remainder as a 1 we can say when 29 divided by 7 remainder is 1 29 square also give remainder 1 because 1 is square so that is nothing but 1 plus 1 plus 1 till how many times that is the number of terms in this sequence that is 1 to 16 there are 16 terms so we have 16 ones is nothing but 16 so this terms divided by 7 remainder should be 16 but 16 is more than 7 so we need to again divide 16 by 7 till 14 it would be divisible but for the 16 remainder is nothing but 2 so this complete sequence divided by 7 remainder should be 2 so i hope it is clear to you we just learned three concepts and apply those three concepts in these three questions even if you have any doubt feel free to ping me either on facebook or in this youtube video thread thank you and happy learning